An attorney representing both a testator and a beneficiary under a will is a situation rife with problems. In Haynes v. First National State Bank of New Jersey, when an attorney's dual representation created a presumption of undue influence, the court considered what evidence was required to rebut it. Isabel Dutro, a widow, had two daughters, Betty Haynes and Dorcas Cotsworth, both of whom had children of their own. Betty moved in with Isabel as an adult and lived with her for 30 years until Betty's death. Isabel, aged 84 and in poor health but mentally sound, then moved in with Dorcas and her husband until she died four years later. Prior to Betty's death, Isabel, represented by Richard Stevens, had executed several wills and codicils, all of which reflected a general plan of disposing of her assets equally between each daughter's branch of the family. After moving in with Dorcas, Isabel drastically changed her will, heavily favoring Dorcas and her family to the exclusion of Betty's children. Grant Buttermore, the Cotsworth family attorney, prepared Isabel's final will. The will included a no-contest or in terrorum clause that prohibited a party that challenged the will from inheriting. Betty's sons, Richard and Charles Haynes, sued the First National State Bank of New Jersey, the executor of the estate, seeking to invalidate the will on the grounds of undue influence. The trial court held that the circumstances created a presumption of undue influence but that this had been properly rebutted by a preponderance of the evidence. The appellate court affirmed, and the New Jersey Supreme Court granted cert. 